A rivalry renewed. The long-awaited rematch of one of the most intense football rivalries in Acadiana will unfold this evening. Revenge will be in the minds of the two perennial powerhouses, Acadiana High and St. Thomas Moore. 14 years ago, two epic matchups were spotlighted in a season that determined who would advance in the playoffs. All eyes will be on Cougar Stadium in what promises to be a game that for certain will establish serious bragging rights in the Lafayette football community. It's a long time coming. It's time for the Acadiana Wrecking Rams versus the St. Thomas Moore Cougars. And it all kicks off right now on Friday Night Live. K-A-T-C Friday Night Live! K-A-T-C Friday Night Live! K-A-T-C Friday Night Live! Good evening, welcome to Friday Night Live. We are live from St. Thomas Moore High School. I'm Angie Saint, And I'm Jamarcus Fitzpatrick. Oh, you talked with uh, Kim Broussard, this uh, athletic director, a little bit earlier. And let me tell you, I was pretty impressed by what I had a chance to see earlier today. A state-of-the-art facility, and it is what the champions are made of here at this school. So we're going to take you straight to that package right now. I'm Angie G. Saint, your North Lafayette Parish reporter here in front of the Our Lady of Lords Cougar Athletic Center for the St. Thomas More Catholic High School. It's a multi-million dollar facility that's credited with helping to build champions right here in Lafayette. It's evident by walking through the halls of St. Thomas More High School that this is the school of champions. From the trophies and awards to the national headlines. A lot of it, it's, it starts in this particular room here. But every champion has to start somewhere. At St. Thomas More, champions are made here at the Our Lady of Lords Cougar Athletic Center. This has really been the backbone of our athletic department for all sports. Kim Broussard, athletic director, proudly showcases the school's 22,000 square feet facility. It's an impressive layout. This is over 6,000 square feet. So we've come a long way from, uh, you know, what we had currently to this particular room here. And it's been a buy-in from the community of Lafayette the parental support, the alumni. Long before the center existed, though, St. Thomas More was dishing out wins. They boast over 100 state championships to date, a feat that Broussard credits to hard work. Athletics is important, and, and I want people to know that, you know, we, you know, we, we really strive on being successful and, and, and being very competitive. But there's a lot more that goes into this athletic program than just what's happening on the field and the court. We're very involved in the community. A community that also stands behind the school. The new center is here thanks in part to major donors like Our Lady of Lords, parents and community members. From the shiny wage to the green turf or state-of-the-art locker room that can rival a few college campuses, Our Lady of Lords Cougar Athletic Department is a sight to see. Uh, this is truly a special place. It, it, you know, it's, it's God first, uh, and it's family, and then it's co-curriculars along with academics and everything. St. Thomas More Catholic High School is truly a special place. This is where our athletes are made. Now your Friday Night Live game day forecast. For tonight's game, we got temperatures in the upper 80s, still warm overall for the entire game. We got the cloud coverage there, but we'll see a decrease in that head into the end of the game, but still very nice football weather. And we are live at St. Thomas More High School. And of course, one of the things that we're looking to do every week is not just feature the sports programming, but also highlight nonprofit organizations that are making a great, uh, great impact in our community. And today we have none other than Ailey's Angels. Let's go to that right now. Human life is sacred, no matter how fragile or brief. That's the belief of Ailey's Angels, a small nonprofit right here in Lafayette. Their mission is to support families who have lost a child, a loss they've experienced as well. We lost our daughter, Ailey Caitlin Grace, May 25th of 2019. And when we lost her, we knew and we felt a calling to help other families like ours. She says that's when her and her husband started Ailey's Angels, naming it after their daughter. The volunteer-led organization provides financial assistance for flower casket sprays to all families in Acadiana, as well as bereavement boxes filled with keepsakes like this one. If we received a request for a little girl and this box was picked, we would personalize the box with her name and we would include keepsakes such as this canvas that's painted by a local artist, as well as 
A mommy and baby girl matching bracelet set. LeBlanc tells me they even provide full-term angel gowns made from donated wedding dresses, but their peer-to-peer -peer support groups are where they are able to help others through their own grief. It truly helps to find your tribe. If you're not surrounding yourselves with other families that know your loss, it's so hard to navigate this life after loss. A loss Amber Piku is too familiar with. She leads their support groups at Ailey's, but before that, she and LeBlanc made a connection. She and I both lost our girls same day, um, same year. They're actually about an hour and a half apart. And ironically, she was at Women's. I was at Lafayette General, so had it not been for support group, we would have never met each other. She tells me they are able to continue providing support to grieving families in Acadiana through donations, volunteers, and the help of their partners. If you would like to help or are in need of assistance, you can find the information on our website at KTC.com. And we have Catherine Amber from Ailey's Angels. Thank you so much for all the work that you do in the community for supporting families that are going through grief. And today we want to show our appreciation for the work that you're doing in the community and certainly want to continue helping you in the work that you're doing by presenting you with this check for $1,000. Thank you. Watch Friday Night Live!